So, this is the 40 minute workout for your hotel room. Um, it's going to incorporate the first two sets are going to be using the warm up because basically it's like a bit of a lazy warm up workout. This. So, instead of being your usual 10 minute warm up and then kicking straight into a high intensity warm up, we're using the high intensity timer, which is 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, doing eight sets. So, we're going to have about four minutes pair body part, full body, legs, arms, belly, with rest in between each set and halfway through. So, basically, we're going to Start slow, speed up, and use the full body for everything. So when I press start on the timer, first thing I'm gonna do is get myself down, and I'm gonna do it in slow mode, which will be taking a knee, another knee, fall to the floor, take my hands off for a sec, push back, hand assist, and get myself up. So it's as light and as easy, and I'm not diving into explosive work. So let's start the timer, and I'll talk as I go on. So only 20 seconds, knee, knee, down, hands off, push back, assist, stand, just repeat for 20 seconds, probably get two or three of these in, and what I do is just as I get warmed up, I'll start to get a few more, rest, 10 seconds rest, blow, blow all the carbon dioxide, you can't rebreathe it, never try and breathe in, breathe out. So, same again, going down, push, get back up, and all I'm going to do is I'm simply increase a little bit in speed, and tempo, but same technique, fully down, and off the floor. So I've got three last time, that's my third. Three, two, one. Three, three and a half. Heart rate starting to come up. So, knee, knee, fall, push back, stand, straight back down. Two, three, four. Now, getting up and down, it's the actual getting out of breath because you lose everything. Let's go on that side. So I've set four as my mini rope, get down, push back up. And notice I'm still assisting with my hand on my knee there to get myself up. So there's no explosiveness, no overstretching, tightening everything up too fast too soon causes injury. Four. And there's eight sets. So same again. Knee, knee, four, hands off, straight back up, still assist, get back up, still assist, get back up, four, knees, so you can see I'm just speeding up, getting a bit more out of breath, and it's warming up, lets the veins dilate, arteries dilate, blood starts to flow, Heart's definitely pumping. Neck down. Straight up. Two. Three. Four. I could have got there, but slowly get back up in the rest. Four. Four done. Back, knee, knee, four, hands up, one, no, hand assist, no, two, three, four, working for the full 20 seconds, last round coming up already, Knee back, down, one, two, knee, knee, fall, recover, up, four, that's three, three four, I can't remember what I can't read. that's four, knee, knee, four, so I've got five in, a lot of breath, I've now got ten seconds plus a minute,
so that's pumping my heart rate up and for my heart rate pumping now I feel a bit more warmed up if you did this explosive bit which we're going to do for the second round so what I'm doing is I'm escalating this up this is still part of the warm-up only done four minutes so now full body's done everything's got used obviously legs your core's always getting used at exercise anyway but this one's just going to focus on calf sorry thigh calf steady pace from the side I'm just pushing my bum up so no knees going over no feet coming up and i'm just going to go thigh calf thigh calf thigh calf and i'm going at a steady tempo i'm not going to smash them out the second set will be about that because we fully warmed up i've still got 10 seconds so just to reiterate feet shoulder apart stood to attention calf thigh like a half squat. One and two and three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Check those leg muscles off. So now all the fizzed up blood around the body is getting focused on backside thighs. Same do it from the front. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Always insist on counting because then you've set a standard. Otherwise, you're just saying squatting, doing movement. I can do three as long as I'm moving. Fifteen's a minimum for me. One, two, three. I'm touching my calf and thigh. Straight legs. Calf, thigh, calf, thigh, calf. You can also count one, two, three, four, which is just your tempo. One, two, three. So I don't know how many, head, how many I did there. But as long as I get the tempo the same, so either use the count of four tempo to maintain the same pace or 15. One, two, warming up three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, right to the second. Halfway through, because we're in eight sets, that's four sets done. Four to do. One right up now. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So I've got one extra there. So as you warmed up, you naturally feel you want to go faster. But I'm temp. I'm measuring myself at a steady pace. Two, one, so one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And six done. Right, so around seven and eight to do. Three, Same tempo, two, so I'm getting a good put this very sideways. Bum dot two three four one two and I emphasize the push forward four like thrust forward to make sure it looks your legs straight and then push back out so stick your butt rather than being a back bend which is a three, not a proper squat, two, you know it's no leg movement. From that side. So I'm do three proper and three wrong. So you can tell the difference. Three proper, four proper. One, two, three, four. What isn't a squat is that two because it's just a back bend and bum's not getting down. Get yourself down. Then one, push two and three, four. One, calf thigh, calf thigh, calf thigh, chest. Eight out of eight done. Right, so full body done, legs done, coming for arms. Arms exercise can involve the dumbbells 
all sorts of stuff for this one and I'm going to my knees and just my cords when I hold myself and I'm going to do palms on the backs of my cheeks going to the top of my head and if I was on the side that makes it easier putting your arms in front that makes it harder so it comes right down I usually stand at the side of people put a gap like that so my arm would be going all the way to the top and bottom one two and the same thing tempo nice and steady for strength not for brute force and speed so and the aim is making it easy comes arms in front also making it easier if your arms when you do this so a tough version to the top touch one and two again my palms are always facing away from me touch my back side chin chest out touch above come down a good tempo you should get 15 to 20 on these one, two, three, and warmed up. No, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Nineteen done. A good point. Always look up. Why? She down. She your breathing system down. So, chin out, chest, breathe. 19 again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 19 again, so on the second out for doing 20, so I'm going to do a front view, and then I'm going to change it to the side, so same again, one, two, three, arms as straight as possible, so you take the bends out, that makes it easier, six, seven, so keeping your arms dead straight, the further your hands away from your body, so that weight there, because your hands travelling at speed simply weigh more, so the, it becomes more effort, so it's heat too hard, then do it like this, so on the side view, complete side view, from the side view, if you want an easy version, go to the front and hold your hands, so four easy one two three see how fast i can go and then when you get back to the side one two three four five speeding up now six seven eight nine ten eleven plus the four i've done already but i'm speeding up so working on the breathing out so when you get tired force air out force out the more you squeeze it out you'll naturally take it in so, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, four, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, one per second. Take it all the way up and all the way down. Five rounds done. Right, solid through now. So I'll count to twenty, so twenty is the target. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, fifteen, sixteen, ten, eighteen, ten, twenty. So, getting out of breath now, which means I can't speak while I'm working, which is working at a high intensity rate. Heart rate pumps up to 125. Go. One, two, three, hands as straight as possible. Four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. So there, counted five sets of four. And the aim is always touch your backside with the fingers, always touch the, the top. Last round. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, three, four. That breath out makes a difference. Two, three, four. One, twenty-one. Getting hot now. So, full body legs, full body done. Legs done. Arms done. And arms can fit. 
because I've got no weights, which is in body weight, and there's other weights, other exercises. The second set of four, but for this one, for this one, I'm just going to do where I am now, sat as I am, push in, push out, and bring my legs up. Just thrusting out, like 40, 44 seconds to so rest. Just going to get my drink back in a second. So I've got these cap, cap. Recommend these barocas. As a pheasant beef, it means really good for a clean source of energy I found. I can highly recommend them. So that myself set down. Now to go slow on this is hard, more strength. So this is gonna be once we start push feet facing back at you can. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four. 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 One, two, three. So this one is more a lot of hip flexor, which is the leg muscles that connect to the stomach and pull them up. But I'm using my hands for support rather than do it this way, which can be a lot tougher. Two, three, but well, that's again, start aiming to do this as a four set warm up, four exercises. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Three. Back to engine. Rest. Only on set two, so you can see how much this burns you out. I'm red hot already. Fully warmed up, gone past through that. Three. The blood now is going into these sections. So push, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 11, 12, 13, 15, 16, 18, 19, 20, 20, 21, 2. Right, these, these are really hard to do for a full 20 seconds on every set. But I did 22, so I'm aiming to get 22. Fast, stop, start, if you have to. But pump, 2, 3, the muscles, 4, 1, 2, 3, 8, 1, 2, 12, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, resting, 18, 19, 20, 1, 22, 23. So you get a lot of lactic acid building up in here, because I say it's more, it looks like a stomach exercise, but it's mostly the hip flexor connection point. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 15, 16, 18, 18, 18, 20, 1, 2, 3, 3. It's a tough one, this. 23 is my goal. But again, good fast movement. Get a good batch of 10 out of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, 10. Recharge your breath in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three. So, different method, different method there. Got a little towel, but still let me 23 target around seven. So, I'll try 11, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Big breath out and hold and on two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Right on the way. So, a different methodology. Not working right through, but scoring 23. So, where we go. Last round. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven, twelve. 30, 14, 15, 16, 17, 20, 1, 2, 3, oh. so how hard it looks, full body done, legs done, arms done, belly done, 
Barely been this long, Pat. I'm going to do more of a stomach exercise. So you've now got two minutes. Time is running. You've got two minutes off. I'm hoping it picks up on that. So grab a drink. Because now we need to do the second round. Oh, with a bit more explosive. Now that we're fully warmed up. And finish with to batter eight, as it normally is, where we do really high intensity. Um, and always, never sacrifice form. So what we're going to do is, I now also know there was four floors, F-O-F-O, -O, means fully on the floor and fully off the floor. Hopefully, it won't make a lot of noise because I'm on the second floor of the hotel. The aim of this one, is this is more advanced. If you can't do this, simply go back into the, get yourself down, take your hands off, assist yourself up, little jump and straight back down. That's still fully getting on the floor because your hands off and fully getting off is the miniature jump. You don't even have to stand up so you can get down, hands off there as you're fully off the floor. From there, jump. There we go, left the floor, fully on, fully off. But the most explosive way, I'll do it slight angle, is in a sprawl position. I'm going to fall out, down, hands off, jump back to there. And in that position, jump and repeat, 30 seconds. So that is the whole moment. Down, hands off, jump. This is really hot type of work. So I'll be towels a hand. Once we get going in 15 seconds, again, aim is get on the floor. Hands off means you're fully loaded onto the floor. And then as miniature as jump as you need. Ready. So down, hands off. Jump is one. Down, hands off. I'm going to do this bit slightly. Two. Down, hands off. Three. Down, hands off. Four. Down, hands off. Five. Down, hands off. Six. Rest. And this catch up with your rest. Now we rest. How we use your rest. Breathe out. Three, two, one. So six. I'm looking at six. Eight. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. I'm gonna call it that. So I didn't wait for me full. Twenty because I can't be halfway down. Five's a good. Target. Three, two, one. So just play a bit more. Down. One. Two. Have been up to seven in this. Three. That's usually when it's outdoors. Not in a hot room like this. Four. Hands off, mini jump, hands off, mini jump, three, four, five, if I wear a hat, I need to, all about the breathing this. Doing six and seven, I won't be able to talk. How am I doing it? Every jump's a count on three. So don't count to the jump. Four, five seconds to get down. Five. Breathing up and away. Always keep your method on. One, she tell you, you get poor form, so therefore won't score.
She runs to go. One. Two. Because you do everything fully get down and fully get off four fours. Also, those bastard doors and all sorts of variants of them. But the key thing is, are you fully on the floor? Yes. It's that little hands off when you lay down. The minute you jump, could you pull a sheet of paper under your feet? That means you're fully off the floor for a minute second. You can increase that into a tuck jump and all sorts, but again, that's for the advanced stuff. You can also just make it like the warm pose, get down and get back up again. So, we're in the second part, FLAB, so we've done the full body again. So the leg ones, instead of going from thigh to calf, we're going right down. The emphasis is squat, you should be able to put your knees, not popping on your toes. So we touch the floor, jump. Four, two, four, three, four, 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 five, six, seven, eight, fingertips on the floor, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, four, three, fifteen. Rest. And believe it or not, slower is harder. Because you get into start from dead knot, bounce off the glasses into your muscles. So one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fourteen, fifteen, six, seven, seventeen, seventeen. One, two, three, minis jump, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, eighteen, eighteen, six, eighteen, seven, eighteen. Again, this is the quite advanced level fit green bib stuff. We'll do a set beginners. Five. Calf, jump, jump, jump. As long as I'm getting that bum out in there, I can instigate a squat, push back off it. So beginners, calf, jump. And if total beginners, thigh calf again, but a bit more speed into it. So you've got beginners level, thigh calf, but a bit more faster than the first round. So in between, thigh, jump. So that's somebody who's fast as orange bib. Touch, but I'm not getting right down. And advanced, or green. Touch, jump, jump, touch, jump. <sighs> Same method, count. Either one, two, three, four. Or count the total and match. Because it's eight rounds, you really realize we're back into fit level. Touch one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, ten, one. Feeling this pain now. Ten, fourteen, fifteen, ooh, sixteen. So put my hands in front, make sure that go. Straight down, keeps my knees 
got position there. So, three, touching my feet, front of my shoes all the time. Otherwise, you know, doing that when you get tired, back bend. And I did that because I am tired. You know, sneaking the rest, but once your form goes, it's time to stop. Don't push through. Worst thing you do, you push through thinking you're scoring more when your technique's gone wrong. So you would score 30, 30, 30. See the right is wrong. So one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten, one, three, four, Jesus, that's our six, seven, eight. So because you start on the split level, right down with the jump, if you find yourself you're tired and you only really count that type of method as in the full touch and jump, then you would stop and get a rest. But you can revert back, regress it to the calf and jump. Now we're doing the orange level, or just keep touching a squat as a beginner would without the jump. As long as you're working through 20 seconds, ideal, ideally, being fit, you the same method, same score on every one. Maybe dropping on about one or two as you naturally fatigue. Right, the arms one. This is a good one. The other skydivers and the in and out version. So, in 10 seconds, we're going to push ourselves into that position only. I'll do it from the front. Just up, down, hands off like a skydiver. Feet rolled off the floor. Just push five, four, three, two, one. Put your arms up to the whip. One, same method, two, three, four, five. Back in front, five, four, three, two, one. Arms up to the side, one, two, three. So, where do you put your arms? Thumbs on your nose, out to the side there. Start wide. Again, don't set your arms off your big. Five, four, three, two, one. And then bring your thumbs to your inward. Five, two, two, one. So now try set the feet out. Arms up, sorry. Three, four, five. Arms in. Five, four, three, two. So what I'm doing there, if I just turn around slightly. So I'm doing arms out, it's going from my pecs and shoulders. Like so, five, four, three, two, one. But when I bring them to here under my shoulder for arms, triceps, elbows fastened like a crane's leg. Two, three, four, five, out. Five, four, three, two, one. So what I'm in. On my shoulders and definitely my triceps. You'll see people doing that in between 10 seconds rest. So just do a set around it and we'll do the hands off version. So five, four, flick, two, one, arms down, five, two, three, two, one, arms out, five, four, three, two, one, arms in, five, four, three. So that is the advanced level of trying to do 18 to 20 every set. It's intermediate, don't put your arms off the floor, just push, two, three, four, five, in, five, four, three, two, one, five, four, three, two, one, one, two, three, four, five, very hard. Beginner's version. This is what I'm going to do sorts of videos of with a beginner doing it. Intermediate. Just arms out all the time. One, two, three, four, five. One, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Twenty. One, two, three. So even the beginner, he's going to pump so much blood into your arms and shoulders, into the front, the orange grip, 
five, four, three, two, one, arms back, four, two, three, four, five, arms out, one, two, three, four, five, arms in, one, two, three, four, five, that's 20. Oh, last round as green level, the high standard. One, two, three, four, five, and that little flick off. One, two, three, and four. Means you start from dead. Five, four, three, two, one, back into it. Five, four, three, two, one, 20 sets. And that's me eight out of done. I can feel that right across here. Massively in the triceps. Oh. So stomach. Last set. So we've done two flex of flab. And for this one, we're going to do 20 seconds of an exercise. Lay on your back, bring your knees up, and just bring your knees back, forward, back. And four to get the start. So I've got from there, bring it back, forward, back, forward, back, forward. And you'll feel you need to be breathing out all the way through this. So resting position, completely flat. When you're in a three, big breath out. Ready, 10 seconds. I'm just going to basically reverse crunch, reverse crunch, reverse crunch. I'm just going to try and do that, so we're going to pump some up really flat. Up, one, two, oh, six, eight, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is, you feel like someone's getting crunched and crunched and crunched. Let it go. One, two. Arms are really flat ahead of me. Three. So I can put my knees into my face. Four, five, six, four, eight, ten. Five. So I can't speak through this because I've got to be breathing out. Completely breathing up to make my stomach flat. So out, up, front, three, five, seven, eight, ten, four, six, five, six, five, six, five, six, Keep my head, don't look down with your chin, it hurts your neck. Three, head on the floor, two, just off. So tension on. Two, three, four, six, four, six, four, five, six, four, five, So beginner, what could a beginner do? It's like a reverse plank this. Three, two, so I'm gonna get to that position there, where I'm holding it, start to shake, put my knees on my back. Breathe out, breathe out, breathe out. Relax. Come back up and off. Five, four, three. What you get all of them back, back, back. Three, two, so you're just doing like a hold. Rather than getting that complete crunching tension. Three, so tension on. Bring back. Go, Two, six. three, four. Let's go that way. Five, six, eight, nine. Oh, these are really kicking. Six. Let's get around there so you'll see. 
tension on for that. Up, two, three, five. Ready. Ten. Oh, my God. Three more, three. Two, go on. One more. So it starts off, you think, what's this doing? We've got now, we're going to feel it right across the upper part of here. One. So the first one was flexes the lower part of the stomach. This really compresses all the upper. Oh. Then they don't. One, two, three, four, five. And relax. All right, straight after this. Go on to your front <sighs> to help strip your stomach off. <sighs> Session is finished. <sighs> oh. So what I'm doing there is pushing slowly up with my arms so the warm down cool off of that first of all. Try my face, get a drink. Oh that's flown by. 40 minute workout. <laughs> With the warm up built into the exercise, normally we do a five to ten minute warm up, then do 40 minutes of high intensity. So, like the second set, flab, we do that in the first set and we'll probably repeat it in the second. Back at me, Barakas, Barakas, what they're called. So, stand out, warm down. Right now, that there this feels absolutely pumped. Like what you're doing here, if you start lifting heavy weights and stuff, the biceps come right up. That's what that one does, it compresses all the blood into this upper stomach muscles here. So, knees apart, put your arms up, I cross my feet, and as you breathe out, there's a pull back, back stretch. Pull, 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 pull. lovely long back stretch, quick in now. Over there and breathe. I'm still trying to sit on my feet. My shoulders feel uncomfy now, but they're being stretched and pulling on my arms. And I come up, over, and back down again. Take my arms up to the side, take my feet up, and gently push, not as far as my pelvis is straight into the floor. If you do this fast, I say this at every training session, you do it fast, it will really hurt. So do it. All I'm going to do is bring myself up and start to put my chin up. As I do that, the final part, oh, chin going up. It feels like my chin's pulling a cord right to my pelvis, stretches the stomach muscles out. Go back down again. Feet, tiptoes, dig into the floor. Push my backside up. Walk backwards. And then from there, so I'll do this here. I'll put one foot on the back of the other to do a calf stretch. I'm pressing the calf down for five, four, three, two, one. Switch over. Doing that one, push again, five, four, three, two, one, two on each. And again, it's slow time now. We're going to get out of the habit of training mode. It's a slow, methodical stretch those muscles off. All right, heels to the floor, I can't do it. Push down again. Heels trying to get to the floor, walk my hands further back. And I can look at my foot. I'm nearly getting to the floor. Two, one, push myself up. You know, flexibility test. Palms flat, hands on thighs. Big breath out. And keep going out, keep going out, keep going out. So it's ridiculous, yeah. There's nothing in big breath in. Hold, and then out. Bring our blood pressure down, heart rate down. Once more, breathe out. Big one in. Hold that breath and put your arms down, dead straight legs, looking ahead, looking ahead, you'll get so far. And then your stretch kicks in, can't do anymore, put your head down, can go a bit further down. Can't kick on, breathe out. There, now stay there. This is uncomfy. You shouldn't need to look at the screen, basically pushing your backs of your knees away from you to keep legs stretched. The stretch is from the backs of my backside, back of my knees, going to my heels, and then pulling the chin towards pulling. Pull in for five, pull for four, three, two, one, hold. Max stretch in for the chin, for the knee. You get there too. One, slowly relax. On the way up, take a big breath in. 
as you get that breath in, as you put your arms up, breathe out. <sighs> Lean all the way backwards. Rotate those shoulders. Make your shoulders shrug. And check the tension out of your neck by going around. Right. Stretching our forearms. One of the pet peeves I see, people doing that at the gym. What the hell does that do? Your aim is to pull your triceps out. So, put your chin on your shoulder, take it across your body, and then hook the elbow in there. Don't let it drop down to this. It should be upright. And then, as you pull, twist your body also, trying to look opposite where we're pulling, and you'll get the stretch down this. Pull on the arm, pull, twist, pull, twist. Three, you feel the tension up for five seconds or more. Do it once slowly. Cross, rotate it off. Same for this. Chin on, arm across, hook it, pull. As you pull, twist. Keep looking the same opposite direction. Pull, tight this in there for five, four, three, two, one. Slowly again. All the way around and rotate. I'm going to finish on this one. So, like I did before, I'm going to do big breath out. Big one in. I'm lying there, just let the belly drum or some stretching my back, reaching for the floor, reaching for the breathe out. Keep going down, stretching the back legs straight, fingertips to the floor if you can. Three, two, one, one more time coming up. Big breath in. Arms go high, breathe out, lean back, rotate the shoulder blades to crackle and pop into place, feels great. That shrug it off and once more. Oh. We've just done 45 minutes solid workout. So I hope that's another decent workout some people might use. All you need is a space of a rug. I've got a square spot in my hotel room, which I'm going to work away from, as you can see.